All right, y'all. So here we go. So I'm going to do a quick introduction like I did with the Jamie guide. For those of you who are looking for a beginner guide, like a guide to where you learn, you learn pretty much just the most starter things with Rashid. This is probably not going to be that guide. This is, this is a guide that I like to do because one, I'm bad at teaching, um, an entire character, like for somebody who's like a beginner, beginner, because if you're a beginner, pretty much all of the skills that you learn as a beginner applies to every character, not just one character. You know what I mean? Like anything that I would tell a beginner would, would, would apply to any character that I'm playing. Right. Um, or any character that they're playing right now, uh, things like maybe block strings or things like like combos is something that you can just go to challenge uh, challenge mode for and learn his combos or you can just watch other people um, and it'll take too much time showing you like all the starter combos so I'm gonna just I'm gonna show you things like just like the Jamie guide it's gonna be an advanced advanced tutorial or advanced tips maybe is kind of like the way I like to say it um, or I, I see it right um, it's more like I'm teaching you guys some of the higher level things with Rashid. I guess I should start off by saying what type of character Rashid is, right? Uh, Rashid is a very mobile character that has a lot of tools that worked in his favor. So uh, a lot of people, right? The, the common misconception with Rashid is that Rashid does not have good neutral tools. And in my opinion, that is a lie. I think Rashid's neutral is actually amazing. Um, I think he has a lot of ways to open the opponent up, a lot of ways to flush through the opponent, a lot of ways to to make it so so he 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 turns a, a match into his favor, right? Uh, so you you know the common complaint about Rashid is that he has stubby normals, right? So like one, uh, his longest re uh, reaching confirmable normal is forward medium punch, right? Uh, sorry, not confirmable, cancelable normal is forward medium punch right after that it'll be stand fierce and crouch medium kick right now all three of these normals have a lot of recovery right all three of these normals are very whiff punishable or uh interruptible right so that's why people usually complain right because in contrast to uh luke's crouch medium punch which is, goes so far has almost no recovery uh, well, I can't, I can't believe that hit from that range, by the way, but, but yeah, right. Um, in contrast to that, R Rashid's normals, which are his best tools in neutral are very with punishable and have a lot of recovery, right? That doesn't mean that his neutral is bad. That does not mean that his neutral is bad. Uh, one of the tools that, uh, one, one of the, one of Rashid's best tools in neutral, right? Are the fact is the fact that. Uh, he has a very good driver rush low, uh, crouch light kick. So, if you do driver rush crouch light kick uh, and you hit it, you can actually combo into a crouch medium kick, right? Which is extremely useful because one, the opponent can't walk back. He's one of the few characters that has something like this, right? Most characters they can do driver rush jab, which is really strong when they use it, right? Very strong when they use it. Uh, uh, or drive rush medium punches or something like that. Now, Rashid has a very, very, very good drive rush crotch like kick. And it catches people walking back. It catches people trying to input something. Uh, and you can get another drive rush for a combo afterwards, right? Um, so I would recommend using this in neutral a lot. Uh, sorry, not a lot. Let me, let me be more clear. I would recommend using it in times where it would be effective, right? All right, so drive rush crotch light kick. It's best used when the opponent isn't active in neutral, right? So the opponent isn't active in neutral uh, or not actively pressing buttons or or um, throwing fireballs, in which case it's bad to use, right? It's very bad to use. You can guess whether they're going to throw a fireball or not. So if you want, you know, like let's say the opponent wants to throw a fireball, right? You can do it early to interrupt their fireball you can right um but you kind of have to you kind of have to be ready uh to just take 
a risk with that, you know, because sometimes they're going to be pressing a crouch medium kick or sometimes they, uh, the fireball will hit you and will interrupt you, in which case, in which case you don't really lose out on much, right? Um, but it's also very good when you feel like the opponent is afraid of you. And a time when the opponent is afraid of you is when they're close to burnout, right? So when the opponent has about two drive gauges left or less, two or less, right? Even two and a half, maybe. But let's say let's say less than three, right? Is when they're really close to burnout. And that's when the opponent is most likely just gonna hold back and do nothing to try to get to, to try to get their their their, their meter back, right? Because they're afraid of losing their meter and they're afraid of making a mistake and going into burnout, and then it's pretty much game over after that, right? So in those cases, when you see the opponent walking back, doing driver scratch light kick is very strong, right? Um, so I would use it in those cases. Now, here's another situation in which I would use a uh, driver's crotch, crotch light kick. Now, there's something that a lot of high-level players do uh, that is not used by intermediate-level players pretty much at all. Even there are some high-level players that don't even play like this, right? Now, we all know how good Perfect Parry is, right? We all know that Perfect Parry is such a strong, strong, strong mechanic, right? So a lot of people uh, pretty much use it as a sort of like read into whiff punish, right? Uh, and what I mean by that is, let's say I'm in neutral. You know what? Let's do this. Let's say I'm in neutral and I know my opponent wants to walk up crotch medium kick, right? I know my opponent wants to do that. So here, let me make it more clear, right? So I know my opponent want, want, wants to do that in neutral, right? Uh, and this is when perfect parry is so strong because if I read it right, right, I get the perfect parry, right? Now, there are many situations in which the opponent will not commit to the button. So if I see them walking forward, I press it, right? nothing happens i don't lose on anything but i would recommend you to hold it just a little longer because if you don't get the perfect parry then you can get one of these and this is really strong why because the opponent will not be expecting you to do that they will absolutely not be expecting you to drive rush afterwards so uh if if and 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 even if even if they they press the button right if they space it wrong you will get a whiff punish. Uh, you know, Rashid's crouch medium kick uh, do doesn't have the, the 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 longest recovery ever, but either way, right? Same 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 idea, right? So you guys should use that a lot if you want to learn how to how to uh, you or if you want to use crouch crouch like kick more, uh, driver's crouch like kick. And if you get a punish counter, if you, if you get a punish counter on it. You can get a stand fierce. It's kind of hard to confirm, but if you're godlike like that, like I said, th this is a th this is like a try hard advanced guide. So if you're godlike like that, then you know, go ahead and do it. Now, uh, the second uh, thing that I that I like to use in neutral is stand medium kick. Stand medium kick is a really good button in neutral, right? Stand and the, the reason stand medium kick is good is is kind of for the same reason that parry would be good i guess uh you just kind of have to do it a little earlier right so you know how i said that if your opponent wants to walk up crotch medium kick on you right uh doing a parry here is good right in order to like perfect parry it and get some damage right uh stand medium kick is equally i guess not equally as good but also very good uh and the risk reward is different but it's good in counter hitting your opponent before they're able to get the button out and then you get a crouch medium kick on counter hit uh if you're close enough and you get a full combo afterwards right you can either do a drive rush or you, or you could do a a light eagle spike so this button is really good right it it, it also has decent recovery it has decent recovery so if they uh if they try to whiff punish they have to be pretty fast um in order to whiff punish this right 
another thing is this button. Let me show you guys something really quick. Stand medium kick is the god button for interrupting drive rush. We all know, we all know JP's crotch medium kick is, I mean, sorry, crotch medium punch is fucking, sorry, no cursing, right? We all know that JP's crotch medium punch is extremely strong when it comes to punishing drive rushes or interrupting them because he can get a combo afterwards. He has like no, no hurt box on the cane, right? It's just a really strong move. Same thing with Luke's crotch medium punch, right? Now, uh, for a character like Rashid, stand medium kick is so good. And then next, I guess I can do forward medium punch. There you go. Now, all three of these have a different timing when it comes to punishing them, right? So, let's say uh, from close, right, you'll lose the crouch jab, but you'll beat forward medium punch and you'll beat stand medium kick right but you'll lose the stand jab right um now from this range right here stand medium kick pretty much answers every single one of them um it is one of the best drive rush checks in the game from a certain distance from from close not so much because you'll still lose the stand jab if you're too slow or a really fast button like that but from a range like here literally one of the best drivers checks the only problem the only problem is that you can't combo you just can't combo uh, 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 out of it how does it compare to crouch medium kick for checking drive rush it's definitely way better than crouch medium kick it goes further than crouch medium kick and also his hurt box his his hurt box does not extend like it does with crouch medium kick so if they do the jab they'll be able to whiff punish your crouch medium kick after that so that's why that's why this button is just way better honestly it's also really good at um at reacting to jp's drive rush as well jp so jp has a really 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 strong uh rock paper scissors when it comes to uh to drive rush and here i'll show you so jp's drive rush right has multiple multiple uses right so jp can do this which is almost borderline uncheckable it's not even borderline it's literally uncheckable like uncheckable right um unless unless you you just press it really fast right and then he has this and then he has this right now uh let's say i try to check his crouch medium kick right uh here let me do it a little faster there you go so crouch medium kick can be checked by crouch jab right if i react fast enough but if he does the crouch uh, medium punch it's pretty much impossible it's literally impossible right like by a light punch it's impossible like you you can't check it at all at at best it'll trade right so you can't do medium kick right but if you do the medium kick too fast you still get hit right if you do it too slow you'll trade if you do it too slow you'll get hit right um so stand medium kick is really good here too stand medium kick will pretty much answer all three of these scenarios right now if you guys want a non rashid tip on how to answer this drive rush right first thing i would say is that the jps are not going to do the crotch medium punch first this is something they do once they know that you're gonna check it why why do they do it once they know you're gonna check it because they can really only combo from it if it's a counter hit or a punish counter so that's why they do it unless they're point blank but when they do it like this 
they're gonna do it really early because then they're plus 14 or plus 12 right if they hit you with a punish counter or a counter hit right so they can do stand medium kick in some cases i think they, they can do like they they can do a lot just trust me right so the first thing they're probably gonna do is this right so this one when you fight a jp at first just check him check him either with crotch medium kick which is what a lot of rashids use right they, they use crotch medium kick a lot now if it's a high level jp player the next time he does drive rush he's gonna do drive rush crotch medium punch right so how do you answer that the sadly you can't there isn't a definitive answer right but the one thing you can do is play the mind games with him and you can just walk back and whiff punish it so if you see him do it and i'm failing as i'm saying it but if if you feel like that's what he's gonna do try to whiff punish him right uh and then you're gonna you're gonna have to play the mind games again because he's gonna drive rush again and what now you know what i mean like <laughs> So you you have you have to play the mind game because uh, JP is just that he's just that strong you know. Uh, all right now speaking of uh, back to Rashid tips right. Uh, one thing that's cool about Rashid, one thing that uh, is very strong with Rashid and and this is something that you guys are gonna have to get used to doing in your gameplay right. Um is Rashid's EXDP when it comes to checking drive rushes now if you have let's say you don't have level two right and your opponent drive rushes right you can exdp on reaction right uh but the thing is that the reward you get for that is not that good right because you have to waste another bar to get oki right you have to do a drive rush forward heavy kick and at higher levels players know that you have to do this perfect frame because if you don't do a perfect frame they can wake up with the button right so let me make him wake up with a uh, crotch light punch right so let's say I hit him with this if you don't do a perfect frame they can wake up with the button right so you literally have to do it immediately to interrupt them right and the only drawback of that is that a high level player will perfect parry you at first and you run the risk of getting perfect parried because and it also becomes very easy for them to perfect parry it uh because this has a shit ton of active frames this has a ton of active frames <laughs> and uh it becomes a lot easier to perfect parry this um from them wake waking up right so when is exdp extremely strong at checking drive rushes when you have level two and you're a little further towards the corner from mid screen so just a little bit past mid screen exdp is amazing because you can do level two for free and even if they wake up with let me make him wake up with level three It won't work right so they'll eat a fat punish and they probably won't ever do that again right so, uh, let me show you another reason why it's so good because even even if players who drive rush jab like this if you react fast enough they can't even you see like this right here would bait absolutely bait any other characters dp but it still loses to Rashid's. Now, here's something that I do with EXDP that I recommend all of you start doing as well. And even if you don't play Rashid, I recommend you guys do this. Uh, it's DPing with the parry button. And this doesn't only, only stop at a DP. You can also do a level three with parry. You can also do uh, a level two with parry. 
right? And when it comes to special moves like a DP or a quarter circle four or whatever, if you want to do it with parry, you have to press an actual button. So you have to press one of one of the one of the three strength buttons in order to actually get it to come out. So if I want to do EXDP parry alone, obviously will not give me EXDP. I have to press heavy punch as well with with the parry, right? So, uh, but when it comes to supers, you can just do parry with 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 the super. So this is a good tip for all those players who who try to do level two. After after Rashid uh, does medium uh, medium mixer or even medium eagle spike, and you accidentally get one of those, because I know a lot of you have eaten a ton of damage from trying to do a level two, and by accident you input this. So, quick tip: use level two with parry. Speaking of dry rush eating inputs, I should segue onto setups that you can do. To eat your opponent's inputs so uh here let, let me give you guys an example of a drive rush eating your opponent's inputs right so i'm gonna throw do crouch like it drive rush right now if you're careless about your wake up dp you gotta miss it just like that so look i'm gonna i'm not gonna press much so you guys can see my input you see that if your opponent plays a charge character th this is when this really shines this tech So you see right there, be because Guile has to press up, this drive rush uh, setup will eat his 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 flash kick input, and it, especially if the Guile presses up forward with, with with the drive rush instead of up back, or just let let's go up back, they'll just get hit. You know what I mean? And you can clearly see me doing the up, the up, fo uh, sorry, the forward, sorry, the up into uh, flash kick there. So in order to get this frame kill set up to make it so where you drive rush jab, you still counter hit the opponent, right? Because obviously we want to counter hit the opponent, right? Or, or we want to still be able to get safe pressure, right? Like we don't want to, to lose to wake up buttons, right? Because that is definitely, definitely um, a thing, right? So let's see. Since this is crotch like kick, you have to be plus 12. I think plus 11 or plus 12 both work, right? So uh, so this is a setup right here. Uh, after throw, you do crotch like kick into stand, uh, driver stand jab. So here's another setup uh, that, I, that I like to do. Uh, it's after media mixer, right? So let's say you hit your opponent with media mixer. A forward dash will leave you at plus 13. So a forward dash is also uh, a good a good way to do this. So I believe it's plus 11 is the minimum, and then plus 13 is probably like the maximum you want because afterwards their input probably won't get beaten um, because they won't do it that early. You know what I mean? Uh, off of heavy mixer. Uh, so let's say you do this combo right here. I believe stand medium punch. So oh no so. So this is a really, because this is such a uh, a high heavy mixer, probably don't want to do it from there. But from this one, this one will leave you plus twelve, right? Uh, so, any and even if you want to do it from this, you can just delay the heavy mixer a little bit. Even if you want to do it from target combo, you can delay it a little bit and still do stand medium punch and get plus twelve. So same same thing, stand medium punch, drive rush jab. So my man Darza, right? And I know you guys know Darza. Darza is the GOAT in finding Rashid tech. Most of the tech that I use comes from people like Darza, uh, Octopus, Cloud, um, and even Hamad, uh, even Big Bird. But Darza uploads Rashid tech almost, almost uh, like every day, honestly. Uh, and Darza uploaded, he went through the hard work, literally the hard work of finding pretty much every single overhead setup that Rashid has. So here are pretty much all of Rashid's useful overhead setups. So we all know medium ego spike. Uh, you can get a stand medium kick afterwards and after target combo you can get heavy ego spike I'm just gonna let the video play and let you guys save it or replay it whenever you guys want
I stole that one from him specifically. There are so many. There are so many. Rashid has a lot. Hey, you want some excitement in your life? I'll cure you of your boredom real fast. Bet on it. Dars is the goat, man. Definitely the goat. That one is sick. Wow. And it's still going, by the way. <laughs> it's still going. There you go. All right. So one of the reasons the overhead is really good as well, it's because he has multiple options, right? So R Rashid, after this, he can shimmy the opponent, right? Uh, or after doing an overhead setup, he can do a dash low, right? kind of trick your opponent and make them think that 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 you're gonna do the overhead or you can simply just do a dash dash throw right same thing with like the medium eagle spike one you can do stand medium kick dash crotch light kick right uh into the overhead right uh sorry so stand medium kick into the overhead you can do instead of the dash you can also uh just walk forward a little bit you know what i mean like you have a lot of options next thing that i wanted to show you guys was how to how to hit this as we all know is the coveted combo right this is basically the hardest combo that rashid has you have to do the down heavy punch almost frame perfect i believe you have about two frames of space right of leniency in order to hit this combo uh but there are ways to make this combo easier for you the first way to make the combo easier is doing a light arabian sky high instead of a medium one why because the light one is faster it leaves the opponent higher therefore your opponent drops after you Right? Whereas if you do medium, he uh, the opponent drops first. I'm not really used to doing the light one because I practiced the medium one so much. Alright, so the light one does 38-45. The medium one... Does 39-05. So, it does... 50 60 more damage so one way that you guys want to practice this combo right the best way to practice this combo is to do the extp at a consistent height every time and do the same arabian uh sky high every single time so don't alternate between the light or the heavy always do sorry the light or the medium as for heavy, you can't really do the heavy. It's impossible to do the combo from heavy, so don't even worry about heavy. Just worry about light and medium. But do it in a consistent uh, timing. And what I mean by that is after the EX Arabian Cyclone, right? You can, there's pretty much three different heights in which you can do EXDP. You can do it immediately, right? So they can get higher. But the problem with doing it immediately is that it does not do as much damage. So that does 25-10. If I do it lower, it does 25-80. See that? So you lose out on damage if you do it earlier. Uh, so I recommend you doing it a little a little later, right? Now, the second timing is medium, medium range, right? And medium range, there's two benefits to doing a medium range, right? Two benefits, right? It's one, it's fairly easy to to time right i just got it delayed a little bit and two i don't know if you guys are paying attention to my drive gauge but i'm walking forward a little bit right after i do the, the ex mixer right so look at my drive gauge i gain a little bit of meter in the drive gauge 
from doing it that way. Because if you do it instantly, you see that? It's only at 2. But if I delay it slightly, it's at 2 with a little bit, just a slight pixel. Which means that I can do an EX here and not go into burnout. And then I can even do EXDP after that. Right? But if you do it immediately, you will go into burnout. So that's why I recommend doing a slight walk forward, right? And the, the third range or the third height is the really low height, which I don't really like because it makes it harder to actually link the combo afterwards, right? So I recommend doing uh, the, the, the medium height. So you do this, you slightly walk forward a little bit, you get the max damage, and you'll get the best height for doing the uh, down forward heavy punch. But not only that, it's the height will be consistent which means that your muscle memory will remember the right timing for the combo so if you practice this in training mode for like let's say whenever whenever you're doing a rank session hop into training mode right and just simply practice this over and over your muscle memory will start to recognize when you need to press the down the down heavy punch and you'll get it way more consistently actually yeah safe safe jumps is a good idea so let me show you guys some safe jumps right rashid has a lot of safe jumps which which are really good against wake up dps and even wake up level threes or whatever right and safe jumps are really good in this game and why are they so good one because even if you get perfect parried you will only be negative two so you cannot be punished from a safe jump perfect parried uh and also it does a lot of drive gauge damage to your opponent if they just decide to block it it will take out it would take out about let me see about 45 percent of a drive gauge uh so the most common one that you would see uh is when he does the target combo into charge level two fireball and sorry so target combo charge level two into forward medium punch light arabian cyclone into the kick follow-up so this is a really good safe jump the thing about this combo right here is that this gives your opponent a lot of time to gain drive gauge right while you're comboing them they're gaining drive gauge and also because the combo is taking so long they're gaining drive gauge right so if you want your opponent to go into burnout or if you're pressuring your opponent to go into burnout and you get something like this i recommend doing this combo because this does it really fast it ends it really fast you lose out on a little bit of damage yes but you uh you want to prioritize putting your opponent into burnout so this combo um is definitely a really good one uh normally you can't do stand medium or you can't do medium punch target combo into medium arabia cyclone right uh the reason you can't do it is because you're too close you're too close to the opponent so the medium arabia cyclone won't hit now if you do stand medium kick first it spaces you out to where this does hit and the medium arabian cyclone does not take almost any juggle points so you can do a really 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 nice juggle that looks like this it looks like that right and the reason this setup is so strong is because in this setup you can do an empty jump or a cancel into plus frames oh four medium punch light eagle to use jump light kick oh wow okay so this one from a very close eagle spike actually not not from a whiff punish so from a very close uh e od eagle spike you can get a light arabian cyclone into a cool safe jump mid screen this one's also a side switcher so this one th this one isn't half bad if like if you get your opponent with like if you want to waste the meter you you get them with something like this. You can do it there as well. All right, now let me go ahead and uh, show you guys some like some miscellaneous tech as well. So, uh, as as you guys know, right, one of Rashid's best pressure tools is uh, 
his heavy Arabian Cyclone. Because his heavy Arabian Cyclone, after a roll, leaves you plus one. So you can do a four frame and continue your pressure on top of that. Look how much drive gauge this takes alone. Just this sequence alone takes an entire bar out, right? Uh, and you get to continue the pressure afterwards as well. So this, this right here is extremely strong. And the only problem is that your opponent can check this, right? So yeah, so this has a seven frame gap in it, right? So if your opponent mashes anything that is seven frames, uh, or so seven frames or less, they'll be able to interrupt it. So it actually has an eight frame gap, right? Now, if your opponent does something like crotch light punch to punish it, you can space it out to where you punish their, their light punch. Uh, but you have a lot of alternatives to this. So one, uh, the, uh, the medium version is a true frame trap. So the medium version cannot be counter hit or mashed out of, right? Unless they do an invincible attack. But also if they just block it, you're left at plus four with this range. It is very hard for most characters to punish this. Uh, maybe Ken will be able to punish it. Uh... Nope, not even. So if you space this out correctly, not like it is very hard for any character to punish this with with a four frame. And if they like to mash their buttons a lot, um, no. So they cannot di this. Uh, they cannot di this from a stand heavy punch. They can only drive impact this from a from a crotch medium crouch medium kick so if let's say i make the opponent do reversal drive impact right if you do medium kick they'll punish counter you but from a heavy punch you can do your own back so that's why this is so strong this is very strong. This is a very strong thing to use. Uh, and and even the medium one takes an entire bar of drive gauge away from them. So can you imagine constantly taking one entire bar of drive gauge from your opponent? That is very strong. Usually people need to get like a punish counter into a drive impact to take one bar like that or more, right? But this for free. So if you it, it, if you know how to play the, the, the spacing game, if you have them in the corner and you're good at pressuring them, this is very strong. And if they like to do uh, if they like to do parry afterwards, if they like to just parry it, which is also a very good option, right? Um, you can always just do, do the light. That also takes very close to the same amount, but the lightness is negative six. Now, uh, here are some other cool things that you can do though, right? If you feel like your opponent is very good at checking them when you when you do the heavy one, right? Like if they're always constantly check, checking it and it's bothering you, right? You can do uh, an EX fireball, right? So you kind of have to delay it slightly. It's not that hard. You literally just just hold it for a little bit and because if you don't it'll be a true block string uh but from 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 forward medium punch it'll always it'll always beat them anyway so stand medium punch oh sorry fo forward forward medium punch will always make them uh, get hit when they try to counter you right now you might think that you can't get anything from this because if you try to do it like Light Eagle Spike doesn't work, Medium uh, Mixer doesn't work, Heavy Eagle Spike won't work, EX Eagle Spike won't work, you can get a Drive Rush, but you, you know, like, you just feel like there's pretty much nothing that you can do here, right, to, to combo off of it. Rashid can actually get a Drive Rush Crouch Medium Kick into a Heavy Eagle Spike. Now, the timing is a little difficult at first. So, uh, you have to go to training mode and practice it. But if you time it correctly, I guess you have to be a little bit spaced out. Because you can't do it point blank. But let's say I do it from this range, it'll, it'll pretty much always work. Now, another thing that I wanted to show you is a good spacing for for uh, the, an opponent who likes to jump over 
over your uh your fireball uh so let's say my opponent jumps forward after a blocked fireball right this is really scary because if you throw two fireballs you'll get your fireball jumped over and you'll eat a big fat punish right now a spacing from here uh so spacing the opponent from here uh, you can do a heavy one in sorry a light fireball into a heavy one and it'll it'll almost always uh, trap them and then you can get this combo from that 